this year at the Cheltenham Festival, not only do we have the glory of the racing, but we also have the glamour of the fashion, thanks to our official fashion partner, uh, Holland Cooper, this year. So not only are Holland Cooper celebrating their 15 year anniversary this year they're joining forces with Cheltenham but also this year I've just been told they're going to turn over 40 million pounds so please welcome our founder and managing director Jade Holland Cooper thank you thank you and Jade let's just start there because what a way to start turnover of 40 million pounds this year and you started no no pressure (laughs) predicted but you started this from absolutely nothing. So to build it up to this high over 15 years is incredible. Where did this all start for you right back at the beginning? Well, it's been a journey for sure. Um, we started in uh, a field at Babin Hills Trials on a tiny little stand. Um, and on the opening day, you know, I stood there thinking, well, right, I've, I've made the decision to leave uni. I didn't get a degree. I've got to make this work. And it's been an amazing journey, to be honest, uh, a mad journey. And here we are 15 years later. Well, it just proves that you don't need a degree, doesn't it? Well, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it was, you know, I did a, a year and a half at, at the Agricultural College, which was amazing. But I saw a gap in the market going to events like Cheltenham Research. And I thought, I can do something here, or I, I think I can do something. And I left with that idea and... And badminton was where where the brand was born. I want to go a little bit further back because we were chatting earlier about your childhood. Your father was a farmer and your mother was a couture designer. Yes. It's quite a difference in, in parents there. But I feel like we see this in the brand. We There's so much of that country style coming through, but in such a chic and glamorous way. Do you think your parents have kind of inspired you towards what you've created? They're here tonight, actually. So my mommy and daddy... Um, <laughs> I think so. I think I had a really unusual upbringing. I was on a farm. I had a lot of freedom with horses. I was very shy when I was growing up, but I was surrounded by creativity. And I think the two things came together with with what we've created at at Holland Cooper. And I remember dad saying to me, you know, there's a lot of great designers out there, but you need to be able to put the business and, and the design together. And if you can do that, you might have a shot. And I think, well... We're it's worked, today, but um, <laughs> you know it, it has been an incredible journey, and I've got an amazing team of people around me now helping me to do what we're doing, which is fantastic. Where did that business brain come from? Like you said, you are a brilliant designer, but where you can't build a brand without having that business brain. Like you said, you've got lots of people around you, but you had to start that. Where did the business element come in for you, or did you have to learn that because your love of fashion, or did it come as a synergy? I think. I just love trading. I love buying and selling and, and the, the, you know, making something and, and selling it to somebody. And the buzz of that, I think, um, meant that I had a love of numbers and an understanding of numbers and, and you know, to create a product that is commercial and people want uh, is a bit like a drug, I think. And uh, I'm definitely addicted to, to that and, and making clothes and making product that, that people love. But I think watching both my parents start businesses and, and work incredibly hard to achieve what we had made me want to do the same um, and gave me the drive to, to do that. We now see at Cheltenham and lots of other race courses, particularly during the jump season, so much of Holland Cooper. What is it like for you when you walk in through those gates and you see so many people wearing your clothes, even if it's just one item, just to see that? How much pride do you have in that? It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I think Cheltenham is one of the places where we see more product than ever. And I always use it as a marker of how much have we grown because of the visual aspect of just seeing people wearing it. Um, So, you know, it's very special to see that and to see so many different people wearing it, so many different women, different ages, wearing it in different ways. And and it it brings the whole brand to life. Well, talking of different people, you can have your ordinary Joe wearing them, but also you have been very lucky to have uh, ambassadors such as HRH Kate Middleton wearing wearing them. So what is that like when we see pictures of her wearing your clothes? Does the whole place have to shut down because it must sell out instantly? It, it's an unbelievable feeling. And every time she wears something, it is as unbelievable as the first time. And it is, it is 
a global phenomenon when she puts something on. We never know when she's going to wear something. So the whole business, as you say, I, think that's a really I get a nine hundred <laughs> yeah. calls. What's happening if somebody died, though? She's wearing something. Um, and that's a good point to make, actually, because you don't know if she's yeah. wearing it. Her, they'll, She'll get sent a lot of clothes and then it's her decision as to what she wears. So yeah. it is very much a decision that she has actively made as well. Yeah, which is amazing. There's no better representative i suppose of the brand you know she's so beautiful she looks amazing and it's a real honor to have somebody like her wearing the brand it is brilliant I mean, we're seeing so many big celebrities with it claudia winkleman very recently yeah, on, i don't know if anyone's watching traitors big fan uh but yeah, she's with it. On a great series yeah absolutely yeah it's just been amazing to see how many people have have really taken to it we are sat next to the Cheltenham Gold no. Cup like you said don't touch no, be gosh, very careful that, unless no. you need to go and win it yeah. first um, but the synergy of 100 years of the Gold Cup 15 years of Holland Cooper when we get to the festival yeah what sort of exciting ideas have you got for that to celebrate well I think it, it's going to be amazing to start with um, we always like to showcase some new product and some exciting surprises uh, on on that week which is amazing and and it's an incredible week for the whole of Cheltenham you know it comes to life whether it's us whether it's restaurants hospitality it, it's a, it's an amazing week and we've got lots of exciting things up our sleeve that I can't reveal just yet but what's this space well I was looking at this wonderful yeah. green trench which is brand new which yes, might be yeah. I don't know if that is launching before Cheltenham, but um, I've got my eye firmly on the green coat. We're going That's to be stunning. dropping things every week in the build-up to Cheltenham, things that you can see, things that you can buy into. But yes, this this one actually is is a new colour for us and, and our first full-length skirt, which I think is going to be beautiful and definitely I'll be wearing one of those. I'm really interested to know, because like you said, you started mm. at Badminton with the tweed skirts. Yeah. When did you know that you had something really special? Because there must be a turning point in a business that you go, I've, I've got something here. To go from tweed skirts to build it up to where you've come to now, where was that point that you thought, I've got something? I think I've just been quite good at knowing what my customer wants. And I think because I am my customer in a way, I'm making things that I want and I, I think that I need in my wardrobe. And so many of my customers share that same view and I think well when I had that first stand and I had 20 mini skirts um and we sold out on the second day there was some I thought okay well I'm making something that that people want and then I went from the skirt to the waistcoat to the jacket to the hoodie to the you know I wanted to make the whole outfit my goal was that I could go somewhere and I could be head to toe in my own clothes so to be able to do that now is a really proud moment when I'm going to an event or I'm going somewhere and I think, right, everything I'm wearing is Holo Cooper, is, is wonderful. And I wanted to make product that was timeless in the sense that they are investment pieces, but it's not something that in six months' time you're not going to wear again. Yeah. These are pieces you can invest in and they work really hard in your wardrobe. And I think that's really important now. Well, let's talk about investment pieces because this year at the festival, um, we have Style Wednesday. We do. And this is all about fast horses, slow fashion. Yeah. And we've got the Slow Fashion Awards and it's vintage pieces, it's pieces you may have worn before, but in particular, investment pieces, where, which is where Holland Cooper sort of comes in. And you can wear these pieces time and time and time again. Is that something that's really important to you? It, it's it's really at the heart of what we do. And I think that's where we're different to other brands is so much of the product is is what we call core classics, part of the family, this roll neck that we'll be running for six years. These these are products that stand the test of time. And, and sometimes I'll go to a race meet and I think, wow, that coat's 12 years old and it looks amazing. And, and so it should do. And our tailoring is all UK made. It's all hand cut in the original traditional way. And they're beautiful, beautiful pieces that do stand the test of time. And it's lovely to be able to celebrate that. Do you think this is why your partnership works so well with Cheltenham? Where, I, where did that even start with you guys? I, I think it does because Cheltenham, you know, even in the time that we've been going over the years, it's changed so enormously from, you know, very mixed style, I suppose, to now being a real country catwalk in a way people are thinking about their outfit six months in advance but it's all about that heritage product it's all about that beautiful tailoring it's all about being practical because it's really cold remember everybody yeah. how cold it is 
Um, and I think we, or I'd like to think we deliver product that's perfect for that kind of event. You've also launched menswear. So not yeah. only are we going to see women walking around in Holland Cooper, but as we had models on the stage this evening yeah. wearing Holland Cooper, and the men have got it as well. Where did yeah. that? When did that start for you? Um, about three or four months ago. Um, and it, we, we did menswear a long time ago, and then the women's wear sort of took over, and, and the men's wear had to take a bit of a back seat. But it was something that we really wanted to do, um, and to do it in a similar way. Lots of classics, beautiful tailoring, um, those classic roll necks, classic pieces that you're going to wear in all aspects of your life. And as you're saying, I think we're going to see lots of new Cheltenham this year. Let's talk Cheltenham then. What do we wear to Cheltenham Festival? We can say Holland Cooper, but what do you actually wear? Because it is often freezing. A thermal vest. <laughs> Definitely get a thermal vest. It's, you know, we've got mannequins here as well, so we could probably yeah, talk through it, a few. I think it's, you've got to think about the weather and you've got to think about what you're doing. I think if we start with footwear, um, if you're going to be on grass, we need to be thinking about either a flat boot or a block heel. I think that's really important. I see that a lot with first time people coming in stiletto heels and they're trying to stand in grass and it's really difficult and often it can be muddy and wet. So I think try and get a, you know, a boot that's going to be practical. We've got lots on offer. Um, and then in terms of layering and being clever about layering, if you're wearing boots and tights and a skirt you can wear knee-high socks underneath the boot which gets some warm you can get really fine thermals to layer up underneath um and our beautiful statement coats like the trench coat are fantastic because they are long they look fabulous they are the whole outfit and then if you're going into a box you can take that off and have a sort of fine roll neck underneath but I think also things like your accessories, gloves. I've been, you know, back in the day, so many times my hands were just freezing. So we've made cashmere line gloves that have touch screen capability. You don't have to take your gloves off to use your phone. Um, and then the accessories, scarves and hats, again, finish the look. And I think the union and style have to come together. Is that what your passion of not just a coat or a skirt or boots, it was putting it everything together. together and making sure that not only does one piece work as a whole, but that then works with 10 other outfits as well. Because I know that I wear Holland Cooper a lot in just everyday life and so many different items worth with so many other different items. And it means that every piece really is an investment piece and it's not just a waste of, oh, I'm only going to wear that once. Exactly. All of the pieces you buy from us should be able to be worn in multiple different ways. And, and I think this is why our customer loves it, because they're adding to a family of clothes that can work really hard for in their day. Um, and, you know, the, some of these statement pieces, they are they are really beautiful. And you see people wearing them and feeling really fantastic in the product. And last year we brought out our trouser suit. And I've seen so many women wearing them now. Yeah, I'm going to embrace trousers and I'm confident enough to wear a two-piece and, and I feel great. And why, why shouldn't they? It's fantastic to see that. Do you have a favourite piece over, the, I'm going to put you on the spot, over the last 15 years that you have created, whether it's something that you see on other people or something that you wear yourself? I think it has to be the trench coat, the, lo the long trench coat. It's so beautiful. We've seen it on so many different women, you know, from... 16 to 90 all looking amazing and, and that's what it's about it, you know should what I wanted to create is a brand that all ages can buy into and we have that now and that's really a special moment to have that favorite accessory to add to an outfit oh our gloves gloves definitely. yes I have to say particularly for us holding microphones the Thank glove you. is and very you can much use the phone. needed this and you're using the phone. It is very much needed. Something that I love about Holland Cooper is it's not just a brand that you wear, but it's a whole experience. I don't know if anyone here has been into the boutique before, but it is an entire experience. And you'll have a chance to go over there later um, or chat to some of our stylists that are here tonight to book an, an appointment. But it's an entire experience when you go in. Just for those who don't know, explain explain the experience in the boutique. Um. Well, it, it is an experience. We wanted to create something that was memorable, something that, that you, you can be immersed in and your day-to-day -day life is forgotten when you walk through the door. And the team in there are exceptional. They're experts. Um, and, and you can go through a complete styling journey in there. And that's what retail should be. And I think it's a shame that some stores have lost sight of that and it becomes very transactional. Retail should be an amazing experience, something you want to go and do, something you feel great about, something that's empowering. 
And I'd like to think when you go in there, unless you've been in there, you, you have to go in to see it. But, uh, you know, everything from the smell, the staff, the clothes, the atmosphere. And, it, and it's lovely to see customers chatting and talking to each other and, and making friends through the brand. And I know there are a few people here that have met through, through Holland Cooper. And that's lovely. It's like a family. There's also a guest book. Um, so I often write that the, the messages in there are just amazing. Do you ever get time to take that home and read through it? I, I get my Instagram messages yeah. and that's from customers saying how amazing it is. And the team in there are, as I say, they, they are exceptional and they're delivering a service that you know, I've, I've shopped in so many different stores. And I, I really think the service we're offering in there is, is on another level and it's really special. You've done a lot of collaborations as well in the in the past year with Victoria in particular. We had a lovely chat with her. How much fun is that to get other input from other people and actually collaborate and, and make something new? It, it's amazing. And, and when you work with different people and, and that gives you a different client base because there are people that might not have heard of the brand before and people like Victoria coming in with a different take. And I, I think that's really important, actually, and, and widening the net on your, your customer base and you know, a, a more high fashion aspect, I suppose. I want to go back to Style Wednesday and the Slow Fashion Awards. Yeah. What are you going to be looking out for on Style Wednesday in particular? Obviously throughout the week, but in particular. I think people that are putting outfits together, as you say, and, and it's lovely to see product that's being worn that is vintage or that is, you know, maybe, a, you know, an upcycle piece or, oh, this was my mum's coat or my grandma's coat. And, and to see pieces that stand the test of time and that, that, and I think the tailoring like this and the tweens, they really do. They're so hard wearing. And I've seen coats that are sort of 30, 40 years old and they almost look brand new. So it's lovely to see people embracing that. You could think that at the races, most people might want to come in wellies, big, big jumper, big coat, woolly hat. But over the last few years, we have seen so much of a change there of people. It's a spectacle. You want to look yeah. nice. You want to look... Uh, a certain way why do you think that has changed why do you think we're seeing so much more fashion coming into the races i'd like to think it's because women are feeling more confident they're thinking i, I you know I, I i there is product there there are, there are things i can wear that is applicable but i can still stand out and i can still feel wow i think maybe when i first started going to Charlton, there wasn't really anything to wear and it was almost frowned upon to look like you were standing out from the crowd whereas now i think it's the complete opposite and it, it's great to see people in, embracing fashion across all walks of life. You know, we're getting high fashion coming into the races. And as I said earlier, people are planning their outfits six months in advance. I'm thinking, wow, we need to get these collections out because people are asking me, what's coming for Cheltenham? Do you have to overstock for Cheltenham? Yeah. How, often, how far in advance are people coming into the boutique saying, I need something for Cheltenham? And then you're thinking, oh, we're actually bringing something even nicer out just before Cheltenham. Well, so you have it coming six months before, whereas I think maybe five years ago that that wasn't happening. You know, people were coming in three, four weeks. That was that seemed like you were coming in advance. But now people are planning. They're thinking, what am I going to wear? I wore that last year. I want to do, you know, be more of a statement this year. And I think people are wanting to to really have an amazing wow outfit, but it's going to be a photo world. You've got women's wear, men's wear. You've got your little Holland Cooper. We've got candles. There's so much there. Where, where's the ceiling for you? Where are we, where are we going with Holland Cooper in the future? Um, I don't think there is a ceiling, to be honest. We're, we're, we're creating that British luxury lifestyle brand, which is what I wanted to do. Um, and it's, it, it's great to see us encompassing all of that. As you say, we've started home wear. We've got lots of expansion into that. We're just about to go swimwear. We've got luggage. Um, there's a lot coming. There's a lot we're we're coming. nearly doing it all. I'm trying to think of things we're not doing, but but it, you know it's lovely and it's great that that everyone is so supportive of it. So thank you to our amazing customers for that. What's been your fondest memory over the last 15 years of Hong Kong, right from the very beginning, where you may have kind of conjured it up in your head? Where, where where's the fondest memory for you? I do think seeing. Catherine wearing the coat what was, to be honest, was just a moment of wow. And I remember getting the phone call. I was in a, in the middle of a field in a photo shoot and I got so many Always in a field. What, what, yeah, always in a field. What's happened? Uh, and then, you know, you're going online to see the photos and, it, and it, it was just an amazing moment because in my mind, there is no better 
ambassador for us and, and the global platform was just unbelievable and and you know they do say the cake effect but it it is just unbelievable particularly when she wears something twice we've seen her in yeah. some yeah. holland coop jacket she's doing the slow fashion she's re-wearing yeah. things and that's amazing to see how much do you think it's important at the cheltenham festival that we are also promoting slow fashion I think it's important everywhere. I think we, you know, fashion has to change. We have to stop, you know, making this fast fashion product. It, it, there has to be a line in the sand at some point. Um, and it's great to have recognition for brands like us that are celebrating slow fashion, that are, you know, trying to support UK manufacturing as much as we can, trying to support the mills, trying to support the industry in, in that respect. So it's it's great to have a platform like Tom Races with so many people to 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 celebrate that and say, right, how can, how can we be an ambassador for that? Well, you've gone from a tiny little table at, I think it was two metres by two metres. We had to go out to let a customer in. <laughs> it's a tiny stall at Babington to some of the biggest stalls at Babington, Burley, Cheltenham Festival and so many other areas. Everywhere I went, at London International Horse Show this year, you've got about 10, it's 10 stalls big. That's incredible, the growth that the business has had and the demand for it as well. It is. It's amazing. And the events are are still so important to us and and to me. And I go to as many of the events as I can because you see the customer, you get to see what they're looking at, what are they wearing. And and that's how we started. I think that will always be, again, at the the heart of who we are. And, And it's amazing to be the biggest. I always want to be the biggest if we can and have the biggest stand. But... You know, again, the team I have around me, I can't stress enough how brilliant they are. And there's some of them in the room um, and believing in the vision that I've had because it it is fast paced and it is pressured. And when you work for an entrepreneurial business, it is very demanding. And, you know, I see something and I want to do it. But the only way I can do that is with the amazing team that I have around me. So I'm incredibly thankful for those people that have believed in that vision and, and helped me get to you know, where we are. Well, you and the team have done the most fantastic job. I'm sure we will all agree on that. So congratulations on 15 years, the partnership with the Cheltenham Festival as well this year. And just a massive round of applause for Jade, everyone.